Hello, today I got another one I've been meaning to try for a while. Not as long as some of the other ones on my shelf, but this one I really wanted to try because it, it sounds good to me. It is Buffalo, Buffalo, however you want to say it. Buffalo, uh, Picante, Salsa Chipotle, Chipotle Mexican Hot Sauce. I picked this up at Super One in the Marquette. A teaspoon, four and a half grams. Has 150 milligrams of sodium. Um, ingredients are water, vinegar, chipotle peppers, iodized salt, sugar, natural color, caramel coloring, xanthan gum, 0.06% sodium benzoate, and then condiments and dehydrated garlic. Okay, so... shake. It's a very narrow bottle. Can't even tell. The bottle looks like it might be pretty full here. Okay. So. A little bit of a plug at the end here. It smells almost like a barbecue sauce. Shake this up a little bit more. That plug keeps resurfacing here. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. It's, it's so hard to tell how full the bottle is just by looking at the side. pretty thick sauce here. It is like a barbecue sauce texture. Okay. Carefully. Okay. Just a strong barbecue sauce. Very vinegary, but it's still really thick. Hmm. Hmm. I taste tamarind. Very vinegary, but it's got a good heat to it already. Warm, going all the way down flirting with possibly getting hiccups here. Yeah. And it smells like barbecue sauce, but it doesn't really taste like it. Sugar, I wonder if it's brown sugar or not. It kind of tastes like it. Kind of molasses-y. <clears throat> but it's very much tamarind flavor underlying it. Pretty tart. A little bit salty. My mo or my tongue feels really weird from all the vinegar 
little too vinegary for to just. This would be great, brushed on on grilled meat. Drooling a lot. A little bit on the roof of my mouth, a little bit behind my lip here and behind my gums, under my tongue. Got a little. Yeah, just non-stop drooling. A little molasses, yeah, garlic. In the background a little bit. But it's fairly sweet and, and acidic from the vinegar, too. Plus the chipotle undertones and very strong tamarind flavor. I'm wondering if that's not in the condiments part of it. Because I know tamarind, when you put it as a base for something like that, it does make it thicker. Excuse me. Saliva towards the back of my throat's thickening and it's all slimy. It's hard for me to swallow. Hmm. Lingering. Now the barbecue sauce uh, essence is coming back a little bit here in the in the aftertaste faint it there's no tartness or sweetness or anything just the smoky barbecueish flavor yeah it's not a really strong chipotle flavor in the sauce overall too much vinegar uh, which would be good why well, it would be good basted or brushed on grill meat ribs or you know, mix in with some ground hamburger. <clears throat> or it'd be, it'd be great on chicken. Well. So, yeah. But the tamarind de definitely comes through. Let's see if I can, now that I've tried it, I can smell it. It just kind of has that barbecue sauce aroma to it still. But it's a... It doesn't taste like a traditional barbecue sauce. That's what I would use it for, personally. That nice smoky flavor. I don't eat a whole lot of meat, but this would be good brushed on some ribs, or some pork chops, or some chicken fillets, or uh, chicken uh, tenderloins, or something like that. Something to slap on the grill. Maybe use as a, as a topper for a burger. Throw a little onion on it, some mayo. This is a, it's a pretty good sauce. It's, it's very, very vinegary, and it really, you can, if you eat too much of this without diluting it with something else, it does. It makes your tongue feel numb. Not quite numb, but funky for a minute or so. But it, definitely, uh, it's a good, different tasting chipotle hot sauce. More like, more along the lines of a barbecue sauce, like I said. But it's, uh, it's got a, a fairly uh, good low to mid kick to it. So yeah. Buffalo. Buffalo. See, I wonder, with the accent mark over the U, how it's pronounced. Buffalo. Buffalo. I don't know. But buffalo. Salsa chipotle. It's pretty decent stuff.